One of the most valuable contributions to campus of our five-year DNI efforts has been the creation of our professional network of diversity, equity, and inclusion leads. And they've been selected to steward their plan implementation process and generally serve as the point of contact for their plan within their unit. They work in close partnership with their leadership, with their students, with their faculty, and with their staff to work to bring the action items in their plans to life. And we encourage them to connect and support each other as we support them centrally. So as the K-12 Outreach Hub at the University of Michigan, the Center for Educational Outreach organizes our work in four key areas. We support communities of practice focused on engagement and outreach in educational spaces. We build capacity through consulting. We also develop infrastructure and tools to support outreach. And finally, we offer direct service programs for K-12 students in the state of Michigan. One of the big improvements is there's much clearer communication among the professionals on campus about this work and ways we can support and strengthen each other's efforts. The First Generation Program is a comprehensive program to build community amongst first generation students. The program provides and connects students to resources. Um, so the program um, hosts events for students to connect with one another. It's important to have these initiatives so that um, students who are coming with a lot of talent to U of M are set up to do the best possible um, or reach their best potential at university. University of Michigan. The Department of Organizational Effectiveness, which is a part of University Human Resources, has the responsibility for developing and disseminating education to support our DEI strategic planning efforts. And in doing so, we also provide other educational opportunities that also support other culture change initiatives, such as our sexual harassment and misconduct uh, efforts. I hope that in the future, we won't have to have dedicated diversity, equity, and inclusion education. It'll be a part of who we are, and it's woven into the fabric of the university. A basic premise we have at CRLT is that teaching cannot be effective unless it is inclusive and equitable. We provide evidence-based programs and resources to support instructors at all levels who are working to make their classrooms, labs, and studios inclusive and equitable. They learn from the beginning of their careers at Michigan about the centrality of inclusive teaching to their responsibilities and also concrete strategies for how to implement that goal in their teaching. The Student Inclusion, Diversity, Equity, and Accessibility Board, also known as the Student Idea Board, um, is a group of faculty, staff, students, and alumni who came together to evaluate and assess the university's infrastructure, supports, and other resources that are currently available to students with disabilities on campus. Folks are interested and excited to see how they can be part of solutions to creating a more welcoming environment, and more importantly, an environment where we can attract the type of talent that we want to retain and that we bolster here at the University of Michigan. Trotter Multicultural Center is a space for some students uh, to call home uh, and really enjoy. It's a facility, it's a space where students come uh, and gather and build community, but it's also a space uh, for education for our students. After all of, I think, the hard work, uh, all of the activism, all of the intentional meetings um, and university partnerships uh, and the university itself being really intentional on trying to make sure the center itself was a space for students to learn, to grow, uh, and to be themselves, uh, is definitely coming to fruition.